Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 2, Leçon N. And in this lesson, we'll discover the questions uh, in which you will find qui, que, or then quoi. Okay, so let's discover now qui, okay, qui means who. Okay, so if you want to ask a question regarding someone, like in these two examples, so the first one, who is he, qui est il, okay? So remember the formal, the normal way when we start a question with qui or then as we saw in the previous, previous lessons, okay, you will have to change the order and to put your subject, il, he, here, after the verb. Qui est il? And then you make the liaison. Qui est-il? Who is he? Qui est-il? Qui est-il? Or then, let's see a little example here. Qui vient? Vient is venir. Uh, vient is venir. Yeah, is to come. Sorry. <laughs> so, qui vient? Who is coming? Avec toi? With you? Ce soir? This evening? Qui vient? Avec toi ce soir. So he's coming with you this evening. Qui vient avec toi ce soir? Okay. Um, if you pronounce them normally, remember that you will have to raise your voice a little bit at the end of the question. So let's pronounce them the normal way. Qui est-il? Qui vient avec toi ce soir? Qui vient avec toi ce soir? Okay. Second one is que, so qui, who, que, what, what, okay, and then we'll see two examples here. Que fais-tu, okay, fais is coming from faire, faire means to do, okay, que fais-tu, so what are you doing, what do you do, okay, que fais-tu, same thing here, remember, que, so you start a question with que, then you get to change the order, you get to put the subject after the verb, okay? Que fais-tu? And it's a question. Que fais-tu? Que fais-tu? Okay. And here. Que veux-tu? So, veux is coming from vouloir, vouloir, to want. Que veux-tu? What do you want? Okay. Que veux-tu? Regarder, regarder is to watch. À la télévision. Well, at the television. Que veux-tu? Regarder. À la télévision. So let's read it normally now. Que veux-tu regarder à la télévision? Que veux-tu regarder à la télévision? Okay, so you can hear that I've been raising a little bit my voice at the end. And then the other option is quoi. So quoi means what as well. So you will tell me, oh, you get two what here. You get que and quoi. Yeah, for a good reason. Look at that. Well, tu fais quoi? So, uh, I've been just taking the same question as we had here. This, que fais-tu? What do you do? What are you doing? Okay, but then if you're using this quoi, then it does mean that you don't start the question with it. You just put it here, for example, at the end. Okay, tu fais quoi? It is exactly the same meaning as this question, okay, but then you can see that you just keep the normal order of the sentence, subject, verb, okay, in that case you definitely need to raise your voice at the end, okay, tu fais quoi, tu fais quoi, and then I took the same example as we had here, okay, tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision, okay, so let's raise the voice at the end to make it clear that it's a question. Tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision? Tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision? Okay, so let's repeat. Qui, who, qui est-il? Qui vient avec toi ce soir? Que, what? But you start the question with it. Que fais-tu? Que veux-tu regarder à la télévision? And then quoi? You don't start the question and it means what? Tu fais quoi? Tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision? That's it. Okay, it was leçon N. Remember that the next lesson can be found on YouTube at the following address. Okay, and then 
more material on the website. Have a great day. Au revoir.